Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with the Trendline Masterclass and going over here a few different trend lines that we can see on the Bitcoin chart to help us have an idea of where Bitcoin can be going, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, let's get straight into this. So Bitcoin. Uh, firstly, let's just show you the trend lines that I have drew on this chart. Okay, so for the first one in the red, obviously from the high on the 25th of July, uh, coming down and getting its touch on the 7th of November. Okay, so from July, November extended onwards. Okay, the other ones that I have is obviously giving us a, a hint of a symmetrical triangle here. Uh, with the low from the 15th of December extended across on the 6th and then 8th of February. Okay, obviously the last time that we were looking at this triangle, you know, forgetting what we saw here, looking at it on a shorter term, we obviously could see where we had the low, high, midpoint, high, bottom, high, you know, top of the top of the uh, trend line again, coming down, grinding along the trend line. OK, well, I want to really draw your attention. These are like fundamentals of trading. You need to understand. So you obviously you grind along the top of the trend line, grind along the top of it break above the trend line, wick onto the trend line, break up. OK, and that obviously saw a very big rise in the price of Bitcoin. OK, we're talking from the uh, bottom of the wick to the top, you know, almost the 18 percent rise, which is obviously in crypto for Bitcoin itself, a very big move. OK, what else can we be, you know, dragging onto the charts here to uh, have an idea? So I'm, look, I'm taking a Fibonacci from the high. OK, so where we've obviously got the top of this trend line from on the 21st of November down to the low. OK, where did we come up to? Yes, the 618 Fibonacci level. So this golden pocket has been tested many times now. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times we've tested on this 618. Yes, the more times you test the resistance, the weaker it gets. OK, you know. So taking a quick break there to make a trade and now we're back. So as I was saying, the more times you test the resistance, the weaker it does get. OK, so with that in mind, let's try and fit the thesis and make a pattern which is bullish. OK, so there is a possibility here where we are in a, an ascending triangle. OK, ascending triangles typically break upwards. OK, technical analysis theory, we're seeing higher lows being made while touching this same resistance point. This re this resistance is getting weaker and weaker. Obviously, bulls are you know forcing the price up with higher lows each and every time. Um, OK. And that would be the most bullish scenario right now, looking at this triangle and expecting a break upwards. OK, you'd obviously want to break up with a candle close above and then continue onwards. OK, um, so that would be the bullish scenario. As you all know, I'm not trading this bullishly right now. So um, I have this you know, scenario in mind that we break upwards here bullish. But I see there's so much liquidity to the downside. OK, looking here at the higher lows. OK, obviously the original low, then we formed a higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And if you look really closely, this is literally $8 difference. That this low here was um, $3,742. This low here, $3,750. So this is a, a, a higher low here. A slight margin, but you've got another higher low here. Okay, so currently support obviously sat then at three thousand seven hundred and fifty on the downside. Um, you know, we could you know see a move down to here and still hold the higher lows to continue onwards. Okay, so obviously the bulls would love to hold this three thousand seven hundred and fifty uh, and just break you know flush up from the the top of our resistance. OK, but even if we were to sh fall down short term, then we could potentially form another higher low here before, you know, continuing sideways. You know, typical Bitcoin will probably end up ranging a week sideways <laughs> because that is literally what seems to happen. You get a big move then you, you know, you move sideways. Maybe we'll, you will come down with a come down with a wick to get everybody out of the move, continue sideways, go up because that's been typical fashion. Wicks down, coming along, wick down, coming along, you know, and just getting everybody out of their positions, but still holding the lows. OK, so a real big telling tell factor would be if we break these lows then you know you could expect more downside so far over the last you know uh, well, on a larger term sort of time scale, we haven't broke the higher low um, structure so far. OK, this is just obviously the low high higher low from this point. We haven't broken it. OK, so that's an important metric that I am 100 percent trading from. Um, but yeah, I still am trading this bearish. But don't get me wrong. I'm aware of the bullish you know, case here. But for me, a lot of the alts are looking very toppish. Uh, what do I mean by toppish? That they're facing major resistance levels um, and obviously starting to see, you know, some downside. Obviously, Litecoin today looking, you know, reaching a reaching a high, taking out resistances. 
but ending up just closing straight down below. Okay, so this is what I mean, where you get like a, you break resistance by a wick and then you end up closing down. But again, on Litecoin, really, although this is bearish, on, on like on an intraday, you know, I was shorting this today, uh, but this is on a day trading, you know, on a, on a day trading, so you know, sort of scalping scenario, yeah, you'd be happy to trade a swing failure like this. But when you look on a larger term time frame and you just say higher low, 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 higher low you know, with not br until you break down from a higher low structure, then, you know, you wouldn't be looking for, well, maybe you would, but, you know, um, it's obviously more risky until you break down from some of these higher lows. Um, then, you know, you have the potential of, you know, coming down again, holding another higher low. Uh, and then before you know potentially come up again. So yeah, there's definitely short positions to be had without a doubt. And I am taking shorts on Bitcoin. Um, but to be honest, of the of them all, Bitcoin is looking the you know looking the greatest. Uh, obviously today we're start, kind of starting to form a Doji candle here. Okay, probably going to end in a Doji more or less. Um, you know, depending on how the rest of the day goes. If obviously we've still got what is it now half five, so we have a few more hours left of the day, <laughs> just a few. Um, and then you know we we looking to see how this daily candle closes, but it's probably going to end as a Doji candle. Just that indecision. Okay, you can tell that there's indecision in the market. Um, what I found hilarious is that today. Uh, waking up and looking at Twitter uh, and seeing these sentiment flips. Okay, this is this is shocking, absolutely shocking. You see moves up of a few hundred dollars. Everybody turns bullish. Okay, you see a move down today of about you know fifty dollars, and everybody is turning bearish. You have people flipping and flopping, bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish every single day. They've got a new opinion and a new chart out. They've got a new Elliott wave count going on of, of fitting their bias, um, which I found absolutely staggering. That this this is. You know, not you know, not necessarily small accounts either. Some big accounts that just uh, flip biases every single day. Um, it's absolutely astounding, and I, I honestly think they're probably not actually really traders, and they are just uh, using the hype, <laughs> hype of Twitter. You know, uh, CT Twitter. But I'm not going to uh, comment more on this. But you know, it's just astounding how people can you know change sentiments so quickly. Um, yes, obviously, if you see a massive major, major news of, of, of a, not necessarily news, but a bullish or bearish factor on the chart that needs to be considered. But obviously today you see a 50, you know, you see this $50 move down. We've not actually broken any highs, uh, you know, to get rejected from. It's just an, it's just a doji candle happening here. So there's no need to look majorly bullish or majorly bullish off today, off of today's candle where you see people like, f you know, flipping sentiments so quickly off of such small changes. It's like a red flag. <laughs> um, you know, just think to yourself, you know, what sort of trader are they if they're changing sentiments so quickly off of a doji candle but um regardless anyway um what i want to <laughs> digressing 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 um what i want to just give you all of of the sort of takeaway news from this video is keep your eyes on the higher low structures okay these are gonna you know very important that for a bullish scenario the higher lows need to hold okay um, so this is a been an overview of the higher low structures. Keep your eye on this as the uh, ascending triangle, uh, ascending obviously moving up with the higher lows each time. And the clear resistance that we have at this golden pocket, you can just see, you know, wick, 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 you know, above, but then the next, literally the next day, flush straight that down, down below. You know, bulls are obviously going to want to try and break above the six one eight and then start forming some higher lows above this. Okay. <laughs> but obviously what I would like to see or what I expect to see is probably sideways movements going on here and then getting some wicks down or wicks up um, to, you know, just to liquidate those buyers or sellers uh, before the move actually continues on. So would, I would not be surprised for a few days of sideways with a few big wicks uh, before then the big move comes. OK, and as you all know, I'll be updating you with how I'll be trading it um, when I uh, do my next video for you all, uh, which I will actually be releasing next the Elliott Wave count. So, um, yeah, you can look forward to that. Um, so I hope that you enjoy and yeah, these trend lines, you know, keep an eye on there I, for me, especially this top trend line now is really, really important. Um, you know, it's obviously been held holding us down now for months. So, it, you know, it'd be important to try and break above this trend line. Uh, I do foresee it acting as resistance uh, and you can just see here how if we, you know, let's just say tomorrow you got to break up and you would just hit this resistance trend line, which would actually still be another lower high. Um, you know, it's just lining up very nicely for me for a nice, you know, bearish scenario. Um, so don't get me wrong. Although I am looking at this as a bearish chart, I also do see the you know the bullish the bullish bullishness in the chart, and that is just highlighted by a Doji candle. Doji candle signifies indecision in the market. Okay, and there's you know good reason to be in undecided on the market right now. Okay, with you know clearly making the higher lows, clearly a resistance, and obviously seeing high resistance. We're in a bear market. You know, wouldn't doesn't surprise me that there's Doji candles, and this is why I'm trading more altcoins still. Okay, I'm still. Trading 
trading heavily altcoins. Um, today I took a nice short on Dash. Uh, yeah, that was what a really, really nice trade. Uh, if you trade Dash, uh, you'd obviously have known that it bro broke through resistance, but obviously was faded out, much like you see here, but obviously on a lower time frame. But we broke resistance, come straight back down. That was a nice short. Um, but yeah, there's altcoins to be traded to, obviously, to the short side and the long side. Um, and that's what I'm heavily doing more, to be honest, trading altcoins. Well, Bitcoin gives a bit of, you know, a bit of, you know, uh, an idea of where it's going to go. OK, at the moment, I would not be surprised for this to move sideways um, before we obviously get a wick and then, you know, then ending up going in the opposite direction. <laughs> um, but I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's been beneficial for you. If you have, please give me a like and a comment. Uh, very appreciated. And I will update you all in tomorrow's. Uh, well, let me see. Tomorrow. Um, possibly I'll have a video for you all tomorrow, but I'm not too sure if it's going to be tomorrow or maybe Wednesday. My schedule at the moment is like real hectic. Obviously, I'm keeping the videos a bit shorter, you know, uh, 15 minutes or so. So I probably might have time tomorrow for a video, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, now you know what to keep an eye on on these charts. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you, everybody, so much. Honestly, thank you a lot. Uh, have a, an amazing day an amazing, amazing, amazing. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>